Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and today I'm going to be starting a new series where we're going to be exploring Cocoa Pods. So, Cocoa Pods are actually really useful for if you just can't build something or you you don't have the time to build something, what you can do is just find someone else who's built it and you can just download their code from Cocoa Pods. And then it's easy to upload and I mean <laughs> upgrade and keep up to date with the latest Swift versions. So what I'll do is, in today's t video, it's not really a tutorial, I'm going to be uh, exploring a Cocoa Pod called FS Calendar, and it's actually really useful, wait, I should probably name this FS Calendar Demo, it's actually really useful, uh, so before iOS 14, there was no way of getting a calendar in your app, but now, but that's why many people just use this. So what I'm going to do is go to their GitHub page. So if I just bring up Safari and if we just search for FS Calendar and we can just go to their GitHub page. So I'll just select this one. It's this one. And oh, let me just get rid of this. Okay, so this is what it's showing you how it is and it should show you how to install it over here. So to install it, what we do is bring up CocoaPods. So I'll bring up Terminal. Go to Terminal and just navigate to where you saved it. I saved it in my Documents, uh, Documents, Xcode, and then I named it FS Calendar, Calendar Demo. Okay, now we can create a pod file with this. So if you just go to pod in it, it should create a pod file for us. And okay, that doesn't really matter. And now we can just open that pod file. You could just click on the uh, file, or I'm just going to open it from here. So if we open it like that, uh, let me bring Safari back. Okay, so this is our pod file. Now it's telling us all we need to do is copy and paste. We'll just copy that and put it here if we save this we can save this pod file then we'll go back to terminal and we'll do a pod install so it's installing the pods we just selected and now you can see it's installed FS calendar so now we need to close this Xcode project and we need to go to our Xcode projects and I'll just go to my recent and oh let me just go here documents where is FS Calendar? There it is. And let's use the workspace. Whenever you're using CocoaPods, you need to use workspaces since they're a lot more useful and they can they're just a collection of different projects. So we just installed FS Calendar. And now if we go here, you can see there's a new pod project here. And in this project we have FS Calendar. So we can just go back to our thing. Now to use FS Calendar is quite simple. I think that they explain that here too. So what we can do, we use an interface builder. So what we do is drag a UI view object to the view controller scene. And if we just do this, so we'll drag a UI view. And I'll just give this some constraints. So uh, I'll just make it fill up the whole screen. Okay. And now they've told us to uh, change the custom class to FS Calendar. So we'll select our view, go here, and we'll set this as FS Calendar. Okay. Now let's see what else they tell us to do. So you can see it's already uh, rendered in the calendar. And now we can. Oh. Okay. And now we need to link it to our project. So link data source and delegate. So what I'll do is just link this as FS Calendar and then I'll just set the FS Calendar dot delegate equals self and FS Calendar dot data source equals self. Now it should give us some warnings without the protocol subs. Oh we need to add in FS Calendar Oh, we need to import FS Calendar. Sorry, guys. Import FS Calendar. And now it should give us some warnings. 
if we just wait yep yeah. so add that missing delegate add that missing data source and now it should give us another warning uh or or no it won't it won't so now we can run our app and see what it looks like what's this warning oh these don't really matter oh, I guess we could do this one we'll just perform that now let's just go back and let's look at our calendar okay so yeah this is this is pretty nice actually before iOS 14 you can actually have something like this if you just try to make it yourself I mean you could have made it yourself but this would take a long time to make so that's why you can just download this and now we can start customizing it so you can customize it here or you can customize it in its storyboard directly from here if you just go to the properties you can see there's loads of things to customize um, but what we actually want to do is uh, we want to know when the user selects something so what I'll do is did select date and now we'll select that so now it tells us the date which we selected and it's called this um, let's just print that date so and let's run that okay so let's select the 11th of November 11th of 11 of 2020 and yeah that's nice and now we can start customizing the actual appearance so what happens if you want to have like let's say you want these squares to be blocks instead well you can do that you just need to do fs calendar oh no wrong thing fs calendar dot appearance dot and then you can see there's so many different things to choose uh, what I'm gonna do is just if I can find it uh, what I'm gonna do is do fs calendar dot cell style um, is equal to dot rectangle because I think that's what it says on its um, it's github page so yeah if we go on the cocopods page it gives us a lot more information as well so here it tells us loads of things we can do uh, there was a way but I don't remember it now so that doesn't really matter but you'll find it later so you can see oh yeah this is what I meant um, this doesn't work anymore but they'll fix it later so you can really change anything uh, so if you want to change the color of these what you can do is I think ah oh, I do not know I think it's this one if we change that we can change the color of these that was not what I wanted to change but you know it's cool and I think it should be something called like selection color or something uh, there we go so if we change this let's change this to green and now we can see this has turned green we can also change this uh, let's change this to blue let's change that um, okay and if you want these things at the top to be short then you can just turn this on it turns it short so yeah that's it but there's actually a lot more to this I just haven't covered it today but yeah so I might be continuing this series because there's actually loads of fun CocoaPods to explore. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later.